hello guys and welcome to my youtube channel in this video i want to show you a potential buy opportunity on crash 1000 and um, i am on the daily time frame and if i go to the weekly time frame you'll notice that boom crash 1000 has gotten to the, an all-time low let me go to the weekly time frame okay you can see the market has gotten to an all-time low which is this um which is this level right here This is an all-time low here on crash 1000 and the market has gotten to this level so i'm expecting a buy opportunity to the upside so there's a great chance the market will be buying back to the upside first of all we have to consider the movement of the market as it approaches as it approached that zone you can say market was actually selling impulsively then it started correcting and correcting and correcting and it has gotten to this zone if you understand what happens after an, after a correction, you know, an impulsive correction like this, you should understand that the market is about to change direction. Once the market starts uh, moving this way, as it approaches a strong support or resistance zone, then there's a very strong indication that the market will be changing direction and getting to this zone. You know, so that's what is actually happening here on the um, crash 1000. That's what is actually happening here on crash 1000. So how do we get an opportunity? We have to go down. Let's go to the daily time frame because as it is now, even if we draw trend lines right here and mark out key levels, we are really far. It to be really far from the current price, you know, to be far from where we have the current price. So this might let's say this is our trend line right here. So mark our trend lines like this, and um, that's on the weekly time frame. And if we want to mark a key level, let's just mark a key level here. Can see a key level around here. This key level market are bought and sold around this level. You can see the buys and the sells right here. You can see market bought from here, sold from here, bought from here, bought from here, bought from here, and also sold from this level too. So this is a key level on the weekly time frame. Why we mark these key levels? Because we expect the market to always make a U-turns or react each time it gets to such levels. So let's get to the daily time frame. All right, so on the daily time frame, you can see where the market is. The market closed nicely yesterday with a small bearish candlestick pattern. Small bearish candlestick. And you can remember the strategy I taught on this channel that once the market has a long bearish, a long candles, a long body, big body candlestick, then the next day's candlestick is also as a small, a smaller body. There's a very high chance that the market is about to change direction uh, in um, in the current day. You know, so like now you can see what really will make me believe the market is going to change direction is the fact that the market is actually at a strong support zone. The market actually hit a strong support zone. And now based on the strategy, we have to put a line here to see when the market breaks above that line. This is a black line. When the market breaks above this line on the current day and closes above, like breaks above and closes above it, and sometimes it's best to wait for the market to come back to retest that line if there is no um, if there is a resistance zone very close to it on the on a lower time frame all right so although we know this is going to be a resistance zone right here where we have the week of this yesterday's candlestick this is going to be a resistance zone in the market too i'm sure about that all right so let me just leave those lines there while i go down to you know the early time frame to mark out some key levels in the market all right, so and you can see the trend of the market as i mentioned earlier you can see the trend the movement was actually um impulsive um, corrective an impulsive correction you can see the movement of the market at that point so guys this is a very nice setup here there's a nice setup here waiting for us to come and harvest some money from it you know so let's go to the four hourly time frame Let's go to the fall. Do we have any key level around here? I think we have a key level first. Let's see. Um, this looks like a key level. This looks like a key level. Let me see. This looks like a key. There's a key level around here. There's a key level here. Market button sold around this level. Let me change this color. Market button sold around that level. We use a blue color. So there's a key level around there. All right. So let's go down to the four hourly time frame. Wait, it's loading all right so now we are on the four time frame and on the four time frame you can see the correction we talk about there's another correction here impulsive correction right here 
you can see the movement of the market see the see what happened the market came down here impulsively now it's giving us this impulsive correction vibe and now as that is when it hits this particular um um weekly uh, support weekly um, support line you see with this correction so there's a chance the market must will buy to the upside there's a very high chance the market is going to buy to the upside because even as it is now you can join a trend line you can join a trend line now to wait for him to break out and retest properly based on our strategy but since we are on in this quality time frame it's large and we can't draw the line uh, properly and I, even though we have drawn this but when we go to a lower time frame we will really confirm the um the structure that is right there we have to go down to a lower time frame to confirm the structure that is right there and so before that then we have to take take note of this let me take out this line uh, let me see if i can reduce it because since i'm drawing a bigger time frame it makes the line too long i would let me take it out i will i will draw it on a one the one other time frame now don't forget that this, this is the a key level hold, hold on do not forget that is the, this is a key level in the market this is a key level and this is the weekly time frames um, key level too uh, while this black line here is the um, highest point the market went to yesterday while this other black line here is the is the opening of the yesterday's um daily candlestick this other black line right here all right so we have to have that in mind and based on the strategy you want to see the market go above this first black line here and come back to retest on it you understand then it gives us that condition the the indication that it's going to buy then we go into sell so but as it is we are, can also see that there looks this looks like another support zone around here it looks like there's a support zone around here although there is an other block here um based on those that trade small uh, smart money concepts there's a small there's a kind of a, another block around this point which the market might react to you know and couple with the fact that this is a, a, a support zone this is a support zone so this might become a support on resistance at this point so we have to mark out this zone let's mark out this zone because market might react on getting to this zone there's a very high chance that market is going to react on getting to this zone and that's on the four hourly time frame that's on the four hourly time frame so we just change this color quickly all right so that's what i have there all right guys so now what we do next is to go to the uh, to the one hourly time frame let's go to the one hourly time frame so we can see this structure clearly and also try to mark it clearly but also right before we go down i can see a structure the market was also giving a structure like this the market was giving us a structure like this the market was also giving us a kind of a structure like this I think we'll better mark here or we'll leave it at this point the market was giving us a kind of a structure like this to the downside which it, there's a very high chance there uh, there might be a reaction when the market gets there let me duplicate this line and place it right here and you can see the structure now guys you can see the structure on this for early time frame this is a kind of a channel the market was actually in the channel before it broke out and hit this zone the market was actually in a channel you can see the movement before it broke out of it and hit this zone so normally when the market breaks out this, this is going to be a kind of a fake out based on what i'm seeing on the chart this, this is going to be a kind of a fake out because i expect the market will go get back into this channel then buy up retest them buy massively to the upside that's what usually happens when after a fake out after a nice fake out the market usually uh, moves in that direction nicely like after getting back into this channel it will come in and do a, a, a nice retest and then buy nicely to the upside just watch out for this well this thing i'm telling you on this chat uh on this page just watch out guys so with that let's go down to the one early time frame and see what we can do the one early time frame all right all right so on the one early time frame I will want to because I want to mark this um, correction that I saw on the four time frame. I, would, I will want to take out this line so that it won't look too dirty or too much. Let me just take out this line and place a horizontal a trend line right here to mark that correction. You know, this is what we look out for based on my strategy. 
this is what these are kind of things we look at for we look at for this and we duplicate this line to put it right here and when we do this what happens next what happens next you can see now that we have the market moving in this um uh, in this uh, impulsive correction trying to form a kind of a descending wage you know or bearish wage whatever you call it but what i am looking for is the market to now the market has gone above the horizontal line that marked the opening of the previous day's candlestick you know what i'm expecting is for the market to come back to this line to retest then buy massively to the upside or there should be a nice pullback there should be a nice pullback even if it doesn't get to this black line then the market should buy what it should buy above this line it should buy above this line buy and break through this line then gets to this level then maybe come back to doing another retest then buy massively to i would want to see a retest to this line here to this same line again i'd want to see a retest to this same line here for massive buys to the upside you know so i want to see something like this i want to see something like this i want to see something like this you just duplicate this i want to see something like this okay comes back to this zone then what next massive bias to the upside this is something i'm expecting to happen on this um chart you know this might happen today but i'm sure the market would want to buy you know i'm sure the market would want to buy based on how yesterday was and where the market got to yesterday also now if we go down to the 15 minutes time frame let's go to the 15 minutes time frame to see what we can get from the chart Let's go to the 15 minutes time frame. Although on this one only time frame, you need to take um take note of all these places we've marked. Take note of all these places we've marked and know that um they have to be observed. Alright, good. So on the 15 minutes time frame, you can see the structure we marked here on the one early time frame. That impulsive correction. It is really evident right here because you can see the impulsive move to the downside see the nice impulsive move to the downside market has been selling then you can see the impulsive corrections at this point so we want to see a breakout of this um uh, resistive trend line we see the market has to get to this zone you know come back to react and reacting on this um how do we call this this particular time uh, on this particular line here which is the opening of the previous day's candlestick you can see the buys that happened here market bought massively from this zone so i am expecting the market on getting back to this zone it should buy massively to the upside or there are chances that the market on getting to this zone here it might buy above this zone market can get to this zone and decided to break above and continue buying if it continues buying and get to let's say some way here then we want to see a pull back to this zone to where we have this black line we want to see a pull back to where we have this black line then we want to see massive buys because they were uh, this actually a key level too you can see the buy activity around this zone and the sell activity around this zone. So this is a key level too. So if the market can break above this uh, black line here, I want to see it pulling back to this particular black line here at the top, you know, then buying massively to the upside. Then in that case, you'll be targeting your first target to be here. Your second target might be here. Then your third target or TP, you can leave it up to this level here. Let me just show you an example of what you can possibly make from this particular trade, this trade setup. If it happens that the market has to get here first, let me bring down this um, lot size. You know, I like trading big lot sizes. So let me take it down to maybe 2.0. Maybe 2.0. With 2.0 lot size, then you enter a trade at this point. Let's say you enter, you have an entry at this point. Then your first TP, which is, which will be somewhere around here. If your first TP is around here, it should be around this point here. This is how much about 55 us dollars guys your first tp that's what i would want to put my first tp then the second tp will be around this point which is about 94 us dollars then the third tp market must likely react around this point here market will likely react because this looks like another block so this 152 dollars for this one so if you add it to the let's you open three positions and this well this plays out you'll be making how much you're making you're making how much over 300 dollars very easily guys over 300 dollars very easily just with them 
classes of 2.0 and three positions guys you know so this is a very nice trade setup you can see the impulsive movement and the corrective movement the impulsive corrections which are the things we look out for and the market has gotten to a very strong zone and those are the kind of things we want to see and this this impulsive correction is forming actually has gotten uh, the market started forming impulsive correction as it approached this particular um support level this strong support level a uh, key support level on the weekly time frame and those are the kind of things we want to see you want to see this all this structure always forming as it approaches a strong level so that's why that's what's really giving me the confidence the market is going to buy so if you can always wait for these setups to happen on your chart guys you'll be making some good cash i'm telling you it's not about rushing to trade every day you can always wait for this kind of setups to happen you'll be chat you'll be, you'll be making you you'll be getting some good trades you're making money you don't need indicators i used to tell you, you don't need indicators to survive your indicators is um is good but um i don't like depending on you know things that can easily get duplicated at any time or someone somebody else will be using you to make money because people the invent people create these indicators you know and with time they know how what to do to it and it wouldn't be working and they'll tell you there's an update you know the, the indicator has been updated you need to go and pay it's in or robot all the stuff guys but if you can just study the simple stuff you'll be trading without any need for all those stuff all those plenty indicators and and um robots you know all those things you know so you'll be trading with peace of mind guys so if you want to learn how to do this by, by yourself like you want to analyze the market like i do if you enjoy it and you really want to like to know how to do it um, properly then you might need to enroll in my mentorship training i have about three types of mentorship training then i have the one-on-one -on -one mentorship training and the group training so if you would want us to be you know have a good time you know discussing forex and learning you learn a lot from me and i'll be showing i pointing some important things to you that will help you grow then you need to enroll in my one-on-one -on -one mentorship guys there's a link in the description of this video you click that link it's going to take you to my telegram channel right in that channel you get um my direct contact so you reach out to me so we can discuss your mentorship training and then if once you take action immediately your classes will be scheduled all right doesn't matter wherever you are in the world guys i will give you all you need to succeed in trading this legitimate information like this these are things people need to see so guys um um our free class free training will be coming up very soon i'm trying to figure out the, if they did that to favor me and um at least part of us it's like many of you watch footballs on sunday i wanted to fix the class on sunday but i'm not sure yet let's see what goes if it happens it's not actually i'll then put it on sunday if the training is important to you you can forgo you can just create time for it you can create time for it guys all right so guys um please subscribe to this video to this channel if you've not done that yet and like this video to encourage me just like the video and encourage me you know invite your friends to this channel so they can come and get this valuable information you know share these um, videos in your telegram channel in your uh whatsapp channels uh, groups uh, where you have other traders you know you know invite people to come and join share your thoughts in the comment section guys all right so till my next video guys stay blessed and peace out